Let's look at the highlights then of qualifying with the cars venturing out for the first of the three 15 minute segments. Everybody thankfully being able to avoid dramas and making sure that the field powered its way through for three times 15 minutes. Early pace being offered up by Yannick Mattler, who was looking particularly brave in the Sun Energy by SPS Automotive Performance. Mercedes threading his way through the traffic. Mario Engel likewise in number 999 for Gripper M. And a bold dive by Lucas Stolt coming down through the traffic as well, sorting out the GT4 Audi. Q2 got underway with uh, Brenton Grove again in the Porsche being out early. Mikhail Grenier taking to the circuit for Gripper M. And the patched up Mercedes of the Stradale Motorsport team having been off the road in pre-qualifying, also eager for a good time. Brenton Grove went rally crossing, bounced the Porsche back onto the road. But Grenier was looking very, very rapid indeed. A little bit wild coming out of the... Uh, crocodiles, which rattled the car up over the curb, and the same was true again of Brenton Grove. Augusto Farfus had this scare when he came across a rather slower Mo Mir, and at the chequered flag, uh, the order was still looking advantage. Gripper M, the yellow 999 Mercedes, the one to beat. Q3 with Miguel Ramos heading out on track. Alex Arca presses on for number 99 as well, but ultimately, Rafael Marcello was not to be caught. Fastest in Q3 and also to top the times come the end of qualifying on the average, which will determine the grid order going into tomorrow's race. Great job done by the GMR Grupper Am Racing Mercedes. And so that car will start on pole for the Kyle Army nine hours that begins at one o'clock local time tomorrow. We'll see you there.